Health Check. Wearable technology is continuing to work its way gradually into our daily lives. Measuring all our vital statistics, including sleep efficiency, or lack of in this case, and calorie intake. We were lucky enough to get our hands on one of just a few prototypes of the new GoBee Body Manager by Heel Beam. The smartwatch syncs with the accompanying mobile app over Bluetooth to help you track changes in real time as you go about your daily routine. The device also makes for a pretty good high-tech gym buddy. The GoB combines accelerometer data with heart rate monitoring to calculate the calories burnt and your metabolic rate during any sort of exercise, so you can make sure you don't overdo it or push for the burn. Time to rehydrate. The device uses all your body data to calculate the precise amount of liquid you need, which with the prototype you currently have to plug into the app. Wearable tech has been around for a while, but it's how the GoBee will measure everything automatically that's the real game changer. A push sensor, impedance sensor and accelerometer lie behind the GoBee's minimalistic face. The blood flow, hydration and activity level information is combined by an algorithm to calculate the user's calorie intake, calories burnt, heart rate, stress and hydration levels and sleep efficiency. Heel B started working on the device two and a half years ago, and in June this year, the Petersburg company smashed its $100,000 crowdfunding target more than tenfold, and is working hard to get the device on the wrists of those eagerly waiting. The roots of the technology, however, lie in another company, Algorithm, which in 1999 started working on a non-invasive way of measuring glucose levels in the body. In 2012, he'll be joined forces with Algorithm to adapt the technology to monitor calorie intake and calories burnt all through the skin without any user input. The company is putting the finishing touches on the device and hopes to get it on the shelves early next year. The feature that makes our device different from all the others present on the market is the ability to measure calorie intake. Nobody else knows how to do this at the moment apart from us. So this feature, as I've said, is a major advantage of our product. Heal B currently has five dedicated research groups, each working on performing the technology for monitoring calories, hydration, heart rate, sleep and stress. When we consume carbohydrates, our bodies convert them into glucose. Insulin triggers cells to absorb the glucose, which in turn changes their liquid balance. The impedance sensor detects this shift, while the flow algorithm calculates how long it takes for the glucose to be absorbed, giving the glucose curve. The higher the protein and fat share, the lower the profile of this curve. It's related to the fact that the consumption of proteins and fats together with carbs slows down the absorption of these components, which leads to the variation of this glucose curve that we observe in each of our tests. The GOBI was put through its paces by a number of medical and sports centers. The accuracy of the wearable was checked simply by giving subjects a controlled amount of calories and seeing what the device registered. After hundreds of tests, GoBee was found to be around 80% accurate. We are talking about a device that is essentially universal. And an obvious future trend for it will be specialization for different customer groups. Different customer groups have different needs. Athletes, for example, would need a specific set of functions that would be useful for their sporting activities. After testing the GoBe, I can definitely say that it has a lot of potential. The device appears pretty bulky to start off, but you get used to that quite quickly. The main inconvenience was having to charge it for an hour twice a day and working when I eat around that. But let's not forget, it was still a prototype that we tried. And with a couple of tweaks, I'm sure the final version will become a valuable addition to our wardrobe of wearable tech.